in my last stitch, which is the increase here, the end of that repeat, I'm going to switch to my white yarn and go ahead and finish the stitch with that so I'm ready to start it on the next one. Now this round, everything is going to be using this white, so I'm going to drop the blue and just leave it there and grab it later. I'm not going to carry it inside the stitches because it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to need it so, like over here, so I don't need to carry it with me until then. So I'm just going to drop it and just try not to get everything all knotted up, which is important when working with multiple strings of yarn. We are on to round 12. We're going to do some more overlay stitches where we're actually going to come here and join into the front loop of this middle stitch from the three brown we have right there. So to do that, we're going to start with just two single crochet. Using our white yarn. Now we're going to take a treble and go into this middle brown stitch from the three we had together and finish it out. One, two, all three parts. Okay. We don't need any increases for this round, so we're going to skip this one and do two. The reason we skip it is because in the next round we're going to work off of this treble, not the stitch that comes behind it. So we're going to do two. More single crochet. Now another treble into that same front loop we did the last one. So we're making a little point where they connect up. Once again, we're going to skip this next blue stitch because this treble is going to uh, is what we're going to use instead. And we're going to finish out the repeat with two more single crochet. And if you notice, that last single crochet went into the last stitch of the increase from the last round because that's how that repeat ended. It's going to end at the same point here. So this is what we've got: two treble two treble two we're going to skip both the stitches with the treble crochet and we're going to go into the the middle of those three brown stitches for our front loop so again doing it one more time here together two single crochet we're going to do a treble overlay crochet going into the middle of the brown that's those three brown stitches together a few rounds ago. Finish the stitch. Skip one. Two more. Single crochet. Another treble. Going into this one here. Skip the next blue stitch and two more single crochet. Finishing up in the second stitch of the increase. That's the repeat. So you want it six times all the way around. There are two. Continue it up. At the end of this round, you can go ahead and switch back to the uh, color variegated yarn because we're going to cut the white and stop using it for a while. Alright, I'm just finishing my last stitch here from the last round. You notice I have my front post, or rather the overlay stitches, all the way around. This last stitch, remember, we're going to switch from the white back to the, the blue variegated yarn. So I'm going to finish the stitch with that. And since we're done with the white for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and cut it because we're going to need to put the brown yarn back on in the middle of this one. So since we are going back to the brown yarn, again, if this would have been easier for you to keep the brown yarn attached and just let it hang here, you can do that. I just find it, it's, especially if you're new to this, it's difficult to have that many pieces of yarn attached to your work. So that's why I suggested that you cut it, but it's up to you. If you feel comfortable doing it, you can leave all of them attached because we are going to go back and forth between these three colors for this whole body. So right now I cut 
my white yarn just to get it out of the way I'm gonna hold the tail inside the stitches and for this repeat we're just gonna have a simple increase kind of repeat we're gonna do seven single crochet two three Seven, followed by an increase. So again, the repeat for this seven single crochet followed by an increase. And halfway point for this round, we're going to connect the brown again. So go ahead and repeat this two more times so that you have three done total. And then join me and I'll show you one more time how to connect the brown yarn in. All right, so I have finished that three times around. I still have the other half to do, but I'm going to go ahead and join my brown yarn in while I'm working on those. So here's my brown yarn. Get back to here. So we're just going to hold the brown yarn again with a couple of inches of the tail behind our work right along the top edge so that we can go under the back loop of the next stitch, under the back loop of the next stitch, which uh, make sure the brown yarn's on top of your hook. Yarn over, draw up a loop, finish your stitch, keeping that yarn inside that stitch. Then I'm going to take the tail fold it over and hold both pieces inside the stitches while I do the next few repeats. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochet followed by an increase. So you notice I've got the brown yarn hiding inside my stitches so we will be all ready to go ahead and use it in the next round. So uh, finish the round with that. You got two more repeats to do. And when you're done, you can actually keep the variegated, in the last stitch, keep the variegated yarn on because that's what we're using to start the next round. So we'll be using the brown in the next round, but we're not, the first stitch is not brown. It's gonna stay with the blue. So two more, end with blue on your hook, and I'll meet you then. Okay, so we are moving on to round 14 now. In the past, we have done rounds with overlay stitches, so you're getting good at those. We've done rounds with the tapestry crochet, and in this round, we get to do both together. So we're gonna be working with the brown yarn we attached in the last round and our current working yarn, which is the blue variegated. And it's fine if you finish the last round on that same yarn because that's what we want for our first single crochet. So as we get into these more complicated rounds, the pattern gets a little weird, but I think you'll see it and it's not too bad once you put it all together. So we're gonna start with a single crochet and switch to the brown yarn. So one blue single crochet, now we got the brown. We're gonna go ahead and do an overlay stitch where we're gonna connect up to this brown stitch right here, that front loop, which is the first from that row where we had five in a row here. So treble usually is not enough yarn to do it. I recommend a double treble, which means yarn over three times, then grab that front hook, and now finish out your stitch. When you do these overlay stitches, you want them tight enough so that they look good, but not so tight that they're pulling your work. Oh, 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 that split. You don't want them so tight that they start to pull your work down. So that's why I threw an extra yarn over there at the beginning of the stitch to have it. Now you notice here, I accidentally finished the stitch. Well, I want my next one to be, uh, to be the blue variegated. So it happens. I was talking too much. I wasn't paying attention. I don't want to redo the whole stitch, so all I'm going to do is get my hook, 
put it back through those two loops and you can use this yarn to kind of pull the hook through. Now I'm at the last part of the double treble and instead I can switch to my purple yarn. So remember on the last one of the double treble, switch to the blue variegated yarn. To continue, I'm gonna skip this stitch here, that next one, because this overlay is gonna be the, the one we use in the future. I'm gonna continue to carry my brown yarn inside the stitches and I'm gonna do four single crochet. So we come here, just make sure that brown yarn gets enclosed inside the stitch. We have one, two, three, and four. That's gonna bring us over to the other side. At that fourth stitch, I'm gonna stop halfway through, drop my yarn, and grab the brown so that I can do this overlay stitch in the brown. So only the two overlay stitches are brown, everything else is gonna be, be the blue variegated. So three times yarn over, we're gonna grab this last brown from this triangle. We're gonna do the first three parts of the stitch. One, two, three, and when I have these two loops on my hook, I'm gonna drop my brown, grab my blue, and finish it with that. That's how we get the yarn to switch colors. So we have the two front loops. Oops, I'm out of yarn here. Hold on, let me grab some more. We have the two, ah, uh, not front loops, I'm sorry. We have the two overlay stitches. We have the four in between. To finish this repeat out, we're once again gonna skip that next, see if I can get it here where you can see it. We're gonna skip the next stitch of the previous round, go into this one, and finish with two single crochet. So that's the repeat. And this is what it should look like. You're gonna have one single crochet in the blue, switch to the brown at the end of that stitch, do your overlay stitch a double treble into this la or into this first brown front loop. Do the first three parts of the stitch and when you still have two loops on your hook, switch to the blue yarn again. Now you're gonna skip the back stitch, go into the next one and have one, two, three, four single crochet where you're carrying that brown yarn inside the stitches so that you still have it to work with. On that fourth stitch, when you still have the two loops on your hook, go ahead, switch to the brown yarn, and now we're gonna do another of the overlay stitches. So yarn over three times, go ahead and grab that last brown front loop. It's gonna be like right here on, on the one we finish over here. Do the first three parts of the stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Switch over to the blue. Skip a stitch and then two single crochet using the blue. You can finish the repeat with the blue still on the hook because our first stitch of the next repeat is also the blue. So that's it. Uh, like I said, it is complicated. When you get to these ones, write down what you're doing. Uh, watch the video carefully and just go slowly and make sure that this is what you have. Okay, so we are on round 15. No more overlay stitches like these, but we are gonna go back and forth between the blue variegated and the brown so that we can fill in these stitches here. So we're gonna have blue stuff on the outside and then from overlay to overlay, we're gonna do brown in there. So the repeat for this, which again, you're gonna do six times around, we're gonna start with one single crochet in the blue. Go ahead and switch to your brown yarn. Now we're going to have six brown single crochet. So back loop only, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna go ahead, drop that. Grab the blue and finish with two blue. So 
So the repeat all the way around, like I said, it's really just if you're outside of here, do the blue. So these three will be blue, these three will be blue, and then from brown to brown, all of that will be brown stitches. So one blue, six brown, two blue, and then repeat all the way around. The end of this round, we're actually gonna go ahead and cut the brown yarn and just finish up with the, the blue variegated for the next round. We'll just be all blue.